Welcome back, Lats, to another episode in our amazing cargo ship series. I'm sorry I'm stumbling like an idiot, but we are going through a really bad storm right now in the Mediterranean Sea off the coast of Italy. And uh, we are just flopping like a little fish all over the place. It's insane. So a lot of you guys had a lot of questions in my other cargo ship videos that I've made. And I thought I'd take a second to answer some of those right now. Just so we get, we can clear the air for some of these questions. So you guys are all answered up. So here for you, especially, is a cargo ship Q&A. Also, I want to mention right before we jump into the questions that we got to make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on on this channel to make sure you get all your fill of awesome cargo ship content. I've been on a cargo ship for the past week and I've created a ton of videos, a ton of content answering all your questions and showing you guys aspects of the travel on a cargo ship that you for sure have never seen before. So make sure that you are subscribed and uh, and let's jump on in. I'll, um, so, have it. So, so the first question we got here is, uh, is there an elevator to go from deck to deck? Um, and yes, in this specific cargo ship, there actually is the one that we're going right now through the Mediterranean with, but the cargo ship I was on last year actually did not have. And the funny thing is this cargo ship actually has 10 floors and the other one had 11 or 12, I believe. And so you had to climb up the stairs every single time you wanted to go up. I think it varies between cargo ship to cargo ship, maybe because of the utilization. This one is more like a parking garage. So I guess maybe for access to go from floor to floor, they need the elevator. And it's a little smarter to have because it can't operate stuff with a crane here. So yeah, I would just say every every cargo ship is different, but uh, that this specific one, yeah, it does have an elevator. A general question that I kept getting over and over again, and you'll probably ask me a billion times on this one as well, is how much did the trip cost? Every cargo ship trip varies differently. The last cargo ship journey that I did cost about just under 2,000 US dollars, and this one cost about 600 US dollars. You can equal it out to be about $100 a day. That's, that's kind of like the bare minimum of what you're gonna get. Another question we got here is, are the customs at the port pretty much the same as like an airport? And actually, no, they are a little bit different. I think the rules are a little a little bit more lenient especially here in areas of Europe I mean every country has their certain regulations so one of the ports we left like was in Israel when they were super super strict and they did probably more of a bigger security check than they did at the airport they actually went through the trouble of checking our entire bags taking everything out rearranging everything but also I entered Portugal off the cargo ship with just my driver's license so uh, you know every port varies differently I think greatly but I think the ports here in Europe are a lot more lenient than they are around the world but it is definitely different than airport security and you also don't pass through like a metal gate in any of the ports that I've been to so far like any body scan or anything to check if you have any weapons on you I also was able to come onto this ship with scissors which is something you usually wouldn't be able to do with an airplane so these are just little reminders for you that like I don't think the rules are as strict on uh, sea travel as they are on an airplane here's another awesome question which is how many non crew passengers were there on the ship besides you geez I'm gonna fall over I'm gonna die. So on this specific journey has actually been four other non-crew passengers on the journey with me, which has been my buddy Hugh, and then another couple that's been traveling, and another solo female that's been traveling as well. And on the last journey, there were actually only three others other than me, which was a couple that was traveling from the US and another man from Germany. I have to say that I'm definitely enjoying the company on this ship greatly. It is so much fun to be able to share these experiences with other people, especially since they are a little bit younger than the crowd that was with me on the last journey. And having a friend with me on the journey is making it so much more fun. Oh, this is a fantastic question. How was the night sky out in the ocean? I'd love to see it out there someday. Or was the view spoiled with the ship running a tons of lights during the night? So, here's a couple aspects of this. First of all, the night sky on a ship is unlike anything you've ever seen. You can't even get it on a cruise ship because cruise ships have tons of lights during night. So you definitely can't even get close to what it's like on a cargo ship. So certain nights, yes, the cargo ship does have lights flickering on and off, but there are also nights where the cargo ship actually doesn't have any lights turned on, like last night. I'm gonna overlay some images of the starry night pictures that we took last night, just to show you guys scale. You could literally see the Milky Way with your blind eye, it's insane. It is from edge to edge because you're on the water, literally from edge to edge just encompassing you in stars. If you come out onto the deck and let your eyes adjust a little bit to the darkness, 
It is unlike any other Starry Night you can get anywhere. And I've seen Starry Nights in the middle of Africa in the bush, in Jordan in the desert, but being out in the ocean and seeing it is unlike anything else. It's seriously unexplainable and I totally recommend maybe coming on a cargo ship just because of that. If you love seeing Starry Nights, this is like the place to see them. Here's another question that's very interesting and I'm happy that you've asked it because I wanted to address this. Are there any women on these cargo ships? So this is a very interesting aspect to travel. If you were to ask me before I came on this second journey, I would probably tell you no, I wouldn't see any women. But one thing that I've learned over the course of uploading these videos and learning more from the people who comment on my videos as well, there are actually women who are employed in the, in the in the cargo ship industry as well we actually have a woman who is working here on the Italian side of this cargo ship and another thing to add is there actually no limitation on gender when it comes to traveling or working on a cargo ship it just happens to be that I think the the uh, the occupation is more male dominant but there is no limitation on the gender that can actually come onto the trip as a trip or to work here and so actually on both cargo ship journeys there have been women on both trips and here there's actually three women on board right now and on the last journey there was one woman on board so you can definitely see women on these cargo ship trips it's just uh it's just it's just interesting i don't know the exact reasons why it's more male dominant but there you go here's a question about somali pirates what about the somali pirates he asks well the somali pirates really only uh really only attack cargo ships off the coast of Somalia and luckily not many cargo ships actually pass through there and when they do they're actually protected most of the times there's actually been a huge awareness in recent decades to to the fact that piracy is a, is a big problem so there are actually ships from different navies placed around the areas in Somalia to actually help combat uh, cargo ships being attacked piracy doesn't really exist in other places other than that maybe a little bit in East uh, West and North Africa and I've heard some rumors about stuff happening in the Suez Canal But other than that it doesn't really exist and it's not really an issue It is something that you need to be aware about when you come onto a cargo ship and I've mentioned that many times in other videos But it's not really a huge worry. It's it should be in the back of your head just in case another question is Hey, man How do I manage to get a room on there because I'm very interested in doing something like this So instead of telling you the whole lowdown on how you actually get on a cargo ship in this video I actually made an entire guide on how to get on a cargo ship in another video and I highly recommend that you watch it because I go into detail step by step of exactly what you need to do. I've actually made tons of videos on my channel about every little intricate detail of actually getting on a travel cargo ship and, and doing this as a, as, a, as a travel stuff. As a travel stuff, yeah that's a f***ing word. So make sure that you check either in the cards here above or in the link in the description that there will be videos uh, answering all of your questions there. So make sure you check those out. Another question pertaining to pirates was, were there armed guards, mercenaries on the ship, you know, to protect against pirates in some regions? So I know that Russian cargo ships specifically do carry AK-47s and actually an arsenal of different weapons. And I know that the US cargo ships as well actually have an arsenal of weapons on them. Other than USA and Russia, I'm not sure what they have going on behind the scenes on the last cargo ship I was on I was aware that the captain actually had a pistol and a machine gun locked away somewhere on the ship as well I would go to as far as assume that that this ship as well has some sort of weapon somewhere hidden just in case <clears throat> but no you definitely don't see mercenaries walking around on these routes specifically I would assume that maybe routes that do regular passages near Somalia and near Egypt actually have mercenaries on them just in case but on a regular old cargo ship, you won't really see it happening. Here's a lovely question. What's with your fetish with close-ups on your big lips? Really disgusting. I really mean gross. Nice video, otherwise I appreciate the info. You talking about, you talking about these lips, baby? You talking about these lips? You like these lips, baby? Here's another question. When you board and leave ships, do you clear customs in whichever country with your passport? Yes, you do. Every single country that you enter and leave, you need to show your passport. This is a... Uh, Pretty much regular uh, information for whether you're traveling with a plane or a boat or a train or whatever it is. Most countries you need a passport, especially when you're entering by sea. But I once again will say I entered Portugal last year with only my driver's license from the United States of America. Somehow they let it slide because I forgot my passport on the ship. So just keep that in mind. Maybe if you're coming through Portugal, they don't really care. I don't know. We have another question here. Is a visa required? I don't know what specifically you're asking when you say is visa required, but um, visa can be required for certain countries, so just check the countries on your route uh, to see if a visa is required to enter those countries. I know that definitely the cargo ship company or the agency that you book will let you know what countries you need a visa for beforehand usually, and they will help you actually go through the booking process and, and get you that visa before you head on your journey. But make sure that you do that research before because you don't want to end up in a country where you can't enter because you don't have the visa. Another wonderful question here is uh, you you 
we're at sea for more than three weeks. Is the Earth a sphere? And 100% not. No, not a chance. The Earth is actually just as flat as it looks on Google Maps, and you can just keep riding, and it gets to a point where you, there's just an edge that the, you know, the captain just doesn't want to go around because you'll just fall off. So definitely a no on the sphere. And that, my friends, concludes the q a the cargo ship q a those are some of the questions that you guys asked me i hope that i gave you guys uh good answers i hope that you guys enjoyed and once again remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications if you are new here so you get those notifications when my new videos come out and check out all these cargo ship videos down in the link below in the playlist up above wherever it'll be so you get your information on and i will see you guys next time i'm gonna go try to not die from the storm i love you long time uh, goodbye